Why did you throw the table cap? That was some baby thing. Baby thing. He's back on the baby thing. He's talking about um He's threatening to walk away from the Joseph Parker fight if he doesn't get to walk out second. Like he's some sort of big shot A-side guy. <laughs> Cesaro got 10 losses on his record. Like, come on. He should be he should be glad he's still getting these opportunities. Like he should be thankful and just, you know, that that's how it comes across. It's always always like it's all about the bag. So just listen. <sighs> At the end of the day, this might be about the bag as well, but still, like this is just pathetic in my opinion. Just get in the ring and fight, man. Like I always say, what's with the diva antics? Talking about oh he has to walk out second or he's he's gonna walk. They did a, a coin toss, David Hay, Joseph Parker, and Eddie Hearn, and I, I think Adam Smith or someone. They did a coin toss um to decide who gets to walk out second, then um David Hay picked heads. <laughs> Schoolboy era, she, you know, you, we all know tails never fails. He picked heads, he lost, so Derek gets to walk out first. But apparently, Derek's not having it, and they're right there as we speak, putting his stuff in boxes in the bubble. And Derek's just, he's about to walk. <laughs> yeah, they they call him my man, Derek Walk Shizora, right now. So, yeah, it's looking peak out there. But at the same time, we all know this is probably just some sort of ploy to get more money out of Eddie. Yeah, that's that's quite boring in my opinion. Just yeah, it's it's all, all this antics. It's, it's not funny. It's not funny. I don't think your fans are enjoying this. Seeing the, the seeing your fight and the balance, people have paid for this fight. Keyword people. Yeah, they paid for this fight. So you got just honor your fans, man. It's just this is this is low. The fight's probably gonna take place anyways. Like I said, we all were used to Derek's antics by now. I'm sure he threatened to walk away from another card. I think that was the Taylor Progress fight. I think he said Eddie promised him he was gonna be top of the bill, so he, he was demanding more money or you know he wasn't gonna fight and they ended up giving him more money in that instance. I don't know what agreement they had, but they did give him more money then. Yeah, I don't I don't think they should be yeah, she was bowing down to him this time. Don't have it whatsoever. You can't have this guy. Do, can't have a guy with 10 losses stamping his feet every time. Like, what? Huh? In certain, in certain play. Listen, imagine Derek Chisora in America right now. He wouldn't be top of no bill. Like, come on, are you kidding me? He's lucky to be here and, you know, getting these opportunities. And this is how he's repaying Eddie, the fans. And nah, this is just... I don't think it's gonna walk anyways, but if he ends up walking, it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty for him whatsoever. He's gonna lose quite a lot of fans over it. But I don't think he cares, to be honest. But opportunities might not come as as frequently as they once did. This is definitely his last pay-per-view, hundred percent. Well he does know this because Eddie's moving to to the zone anyway, so where is he? The zone don't do pay-per-views, so yeah, who's gonna put Derek on pay-per-view in in, in the UK? After this, it's not happening, so he's just gonna try and milk it. Parker's just there being treated like a slag, like Derek's just disrespecting him all over the gaff, putting his arms all over him, um, unsolicited as well. Parker ain't asked to get to get molested on on the, the what was that? The face off? Yeah, like come on Derek man, show the guy some respect. This is the former WBO world champion, man. Why are you treating him like it doesn't matter? Like what are you talking about? You wanna walk us? <laughs> Joseph Parker, man. Is it because Dave Higgins in here? If Higgins was here, none of this would happen. Dave Higgins, where, where, where you at? Where's Higgins at anyways? I just realised we ain't seen him throughout the whole build-up. Like, where's Dave Higgins at? Anyways, Derek, unpack the boxes. Get in the ring and fight tomorrow night, man. We ain't trying to hear none of this. We don't care who walks in first or second. His manager, David Hayes, is there. He's um he's trying to act like, oh, Derek is so difficult to to get talked out of what he wants to do and this and I just feel he he looked like some some bad acting to me. It just doesn't it doesn't seem genuine. It just feels like he's playing along as well. He knows Derek's gonna fight, but he's just trying to act like, oh yeah, that's how Derek is. Or uh, you know, he's agreed to what's in the contract, blah blah blah. But you know, he's hard headed like that. He even he even almost called him called him dumb or stupid or something in one point during the IFL TV um, interview. But yeah. Um, Tony Bellew as well, he, he echoed what David Hay was saying that, oh yeah, Derek is hard to get talked out of, he, that he's hard-headed basically. Yeah, all a bunch of 
yeah i guess this is um the most exciting part that because all of that um spider-man the random spider-man stuff the the weird dinner date these two had during the build-up um what else happened the 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 um the groping during the face of whatever that the hell that was all of the weird stuff they've been trying to do during this build-up is just uh, this fight uh, nah, it's, it's not, i'm not excited but yeah, this this one it's got it's got me talking, it's got people talking. So I guess well done, Derek. <laughs> Even though it's for all the wrong reasons, it's got people talking. I guess so. Yeah, is this, is this gonna make people wanna buy it? <laughs> Probably not. But you know, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, um, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Um, like, drop a like, uh, subscribe if you're new here slap up the notification bell twitter question marks uk and i'm out <laughs>